don't see is the bigger picture. And um, I know for sure if someone had told me a year ago that I would be graduating in the midst of a world pandemic, I would not have believed them. I would have been like, you're crazy. I don't have time for a pandemic. Um, I have dreams, I have hopes, I have plans. But I know that God has hopes and plans that are far greater than I could ever imagine. And um, just like having to self-quarantine and, and do online school was a difficult task, but it was also an amazing experience. Like, who, what class of 2020, you know, we're awesome. 2020 is pretty cool. We did a lot of cool things. We had a lot of hype from all kinds of places, free donuts, free chicken. We had all kinds of free stuff. And um, I think it was, it was pretty amazing. Uh, there were teachers that pulled together things so quickly and in like the nick of time just to, to help us to continue our class and continue our year. And um, everyone put in the effort to make it to Zoom and Google meetings. And we did our best to work together over the phone and encourage each other to keep going. In the end, it was double the reward because we overcame this obstacle that nobody expected. But I'd like to go back to my early years in ROL. Just like Ms. Garcia said, I've been here since third grade. And um, I started as a very super scrawny, buck tooth, freckle faced kid. And um, I still remember Mr. and Mrs. class because it was full of books and it had cute posters all over the wall. And I had a hard time focusing on work because I just wanted to read. And um, Later I had Miss Osterbahn, and the things I really remember about her class were the amount of crafts we did, and the ultra goofy song we did for a spring program about monkeys and bananas. I don't know what that was about, but um, I also remember Mr. Pullman. He was my first uh, just Bible teacher, and um, I remember we had very many debates, and. It was good, it helped me to grow and to realize what I believe and what's important to me and that if someone else doesn't agree with me, I can still believe that and listen to them and, and still know what I believe and not Amen. let anyone else take that Woo! away. And uh, so, Miss Garcia has been my teacher since seventh grade and she made every year amazing. She. She gave, like she said, um, many lectures. There were some funny ones, many serious ones, um, but she has poured her entire life into this school and to the students here. And I think many times she doesn't get the credit that she deserves. So Ms. Garcia, you are amazing. And thank you for everything. You definitely deserve that. Um, and then Mr. Nunes put in so much effort into teaching history, and I've enjoyed sitting through his many slide presentations. Um, you can tell how passionate he is about the past. And Mrs. Lane was the best Spanish teacher ever, always patient and ready to help for this little gringa. And um, from the beginning, my number one teachers have been my parents. They taught me all I know about God's love for me and how to live my life for him. And they're my greatest mentors and the most loving parents. I love you guys so much. And to my very best friend in the world, Emily, um, thank you for being there always, no matter what. And um, Noah and Connor, <laughs> you're my biggest supporters and sometimes my biggest opponents. Um, but I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all that you've done for me. Um, and to all my family, I know that some of you guys aren't able to make it, but you guys have encouraged me and supported me in everything that I do, and I really, really appreciate it, and I love you guys so much. Um, you've, <laughs> you've been there since I was a wee little lass, and now here, still slightly wee little ass, but I'm growing. <laughs> um, and I, I really do love you all. And to all my friends, you have been the greatest joy, always there to have fun and be encouraging and um, just make life better and, and um, a lot 
what better to have? <laughs> um, and then there's something about the family that God gives you. Um, those who are far from related, but have always been there through every trial. Um, Pastor and Sue, and every person in the church that has been there to support me and my family, thank you guys and I love you. As I look back on all these people in my life, I realize that no matter the struggle, the difficulty, or pandemic, God will always provide. He has never left me without hope. And I know that Jesus Christ is the reason I stand up here today, because he gives me strength and he takes my fear. He gives me hope when the world around me screams that there is none. All my academic achievements, my talents and successes, I owe to God. And even when the road was hard, I could lift up my eyes to a God who carries it all. Thank you, guys. Yeah! Woo!
Yeah. You will never, ever be at another graduation like this, I don't think, <laughs> where God is glorified and praised through the one senior we have graduating. And I just want to say again, if you're missing anything in your life right now, talk to Bethany, because she will share the joy of Jesus Christ with you. And I just want to say right now, Bethany, if you want to step up front, Mr. Nunes is going to present your diploma, so if anyone wants a picture, Bethany Esther Sullivan. And now, Bethany, you're going from grad, a high school graduate to an adult. So would you turn your tassel? to ask her dad and I also want to say to, with Bethany uh, in agreement that her parents are her greatest teacher teachers and I